ladies and gentlemen, welcome. And I wanted to talk to you today about one of the RTS fundamentals. And this one is called, holy shit, watch out, there's an all in. And whenever you're faced with a certain scenario in the game where your opponent is going to commit fully to an early attack and they're putting everything on the line for it, you need to make some adjustments to your play. So I'll take you through this situation here. It's a nice CBZ. I sent some links at the wall early on and they kind of turtled up with maybe an extra Evo chamber there just to be super duper safe. And I know my opponent is in on two bases, but I don't know what they're gonna do with that. Are they going to drone up the two bases into Mutas? Are they gonna do Nidus Roach? Are they hiding a bunch of Lings back there and they're gonna all in me with Ling Roach? I don't really know. So I'm gonna spread my Lings out for vision. One Ling at each third base location. Some Lings in the main to patrol in case of Nidus. And then I'm gonna drone up an economy that I think I can defend two base pushes with, with a third base. So I have the base advantage over my opponent. With this third, I have a queen cooking up here. I've got a couple simple drones here. Just getting some money. So I've got 41 workers. I don't know that my opponent has 30 workers. I just know they have two bases and a wall. So they have this wall. And I have lair. Going for an overseer scout as soon as my lair is done, just so I can suss out the situation. I'm injecting my main, injecting my third. Really capitalizing on that larva advantage of having an earlier third base. You love to see it. So I'm just doing my macro here, plus one range attack is very good for Roach. But wait. Wait, okay, uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's a lair, a bunch of larva here. It's injected, there's no queen, and the queen is part of the push. So I now know that this is a super committed attack. I have three queens, just injecting, and 10 lings. And that's all I have right now. And they have 12 roaches that are about to have plus one that are going to attack me here. So this is the, oh shit, there's an all incoming situation. So what do I do in response to this? Make sure all my bases are injected. And I just cancel plus one range attack. Cause this plus one range attack is not gonna be done in time to impact this next fight. I can get the upgrade later. I prefer to have those four roaches of gas. So this is one of the rare cases where you choose, all right, we're gonna abort that tech upgrade because I need units now. I'm ahead of my opponent in bases and in workers, which means I need to pretty much pull everything that I have to the front. Everyone who is not a drone needs to go to the front. So I injected with the three queens and then I hotkeyed all of them and I attack move them toward the front. So now my queens are gonna be a part of the fight. And then as I'm going through this battle in the production tab, you should see me spend all my gas into roaches. Assume I'm not supply blocked, but all gas goes into roaches. And then any leftover lings, I can either remake a queen if one dies or I can make lings. And this is just making a sudden adjustment to seeing a really committed all in. If they're pulling the queens, I'm also pulling the queens. They're not amazing units in a fight, but I need everything that I can get in this battle just because I have more workers and another base. And look at how close this fight is. If I had that plus one range attack, I would probably be dead here. So the decision to say, okay, I have a macro lead, but I have such a crazy macro lead that I'm gonna sacrifice the upgrade war just to be able to make sure I have enough roaches to defend this attack. So that involved a couple key steps. One of them is you need vision of the move out. So credit to this overlord here for seeing that move out. Good job, overlord. We appreciate you. And then credit to the queens for showing up to the fight, even though the previous job was to inject. So yeah, one of the core fundamentals of RTS is being able to identify there's a crazy push going toward my base. Maybe I need to pull everything that I have, even my injecting queens. Maybe I need to cancel an upgrade. Those are things that you can assess in the replay after. And remember, it's okay to die to an all-in, 
But the really nice thing about dying to an all-in or a cheese of some kind is you can always check the graphs after the game and see how many workers did they have, what upgrades were with this push, and then you can decide for yourself how much of the technology and the economy that I had do I think was safe and that I can defend versus how much do I need to commit to units. So I hope you found this useful in the fundamentals of RTS. Yeah. <laughs>